Hi, I'm Amy Holthouse, and welcome to this month's Chamber Chat. Today I'll be visiting with Carla Stidham, our Chamber Champion, Stephen Price from All Brothers Lawn Squad, and Noreen Groth from the Chamber. First, I'd like to welcome Carla. Thank you for joining me today. You. Carla, you were our chamber champion for the month of December, and fittingly so. Um, one of your big projects um, revolves around Christmas, mm -hmm. um, the Christmas shop for the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I wondered if you could share with our viewers, I know um, a lot of people know the story, but I would imagine that most people don't really know the story um, about the Christmas shop and kind of the history of how that came about and your vision for that. Well, um, okay, my dad died in uh, 1995 and he had always enjoyed buying all these Christmas presents for the family, little trinkets that he'd I had bought from catalogs. Uh -huh. So when we went through his house, he just had boxes and boxes marked Christmas 96, oh. Christmas 97, Christmas 98. And so the family got together and they thought there has to be a better use for them than us taking them. Mm -hmm. So that's when I thought, hey, Boys and Girls Club could have a Christmas shop oh, and yeah. all these things could be purchased uh -huh. by the children for their families. So he so. had already previously started <laughs> stocking up for Christmas yes, yet to come. Yes, he and did. And so you had a vision of how to best use those at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh -huh. Okay, now how did you get that started? Because I know that you've been the arms, legs, feet, well, and brain behind that project for many, many years. Well, when we moved back to uh, Richmond, I got on this uh, board of the Boys and Girls Club. So that was 94 when we moved back. Mm -hmm. so, and then Dad died in 95, so the Christmas shop started that Christmas and I had the vision that we weren't going to give the gifts away. The children right. had to earn them. Just okay. like. So they had to earn uh, Santa bucks and okay. they did that by reading books, going to the library, joining different clubs that they weren't used to, computer room, doing good deeds, doing their homework. Oh, wow. And then they got bucks for each one of those little activities. And the staff was just handing them bucks. Uh -huh. And then they used those bucks for their money. So they would save those up. Now, how long did they have to accumulate just their money? Just during December just, because okay. they had a big thing for Thanksgiving. Okay. So it started after, it had to mm -hmm. start in just in December. So they had to work hard. Yes, <laughs> and they do. <laughs> and it, I think it keeps the staff really busy. Sure. They're glad when it's over because the kids yeah. are just saying, can I have some Santa bucks? What yeah. do I do to earn them? A lot of extra so. work for everybody uh -huh. too. Right. Now, how has it changed or how is it different? You said it started in 96, is that right? 96 uh, or 97, uh, somewhere around yeah, there, but yeah. it's been a while. So well, uh, the basic or? premise is still the same. Mm -hmm. the, it's growing in magnitude, sure. huge. Uh, we started out and I was just using board members when it first started. And uh, most of the board members are men. So I said to them, I need somebody to wrap presents. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> well, they're all looking, you know. And then I says, well, maybe I'm saying this wrong. I says, what I need you to do is cover the gift with paper, and I will suppl supply the duct tape. There you oh, go. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> and they've been doing it ever since. And some of yeah. the same ones that started mm -hmm. back then are still, in fact, Eldon Harzman sure. is one of them. Yeah. And it just, to hear him laugh. Oh, yeah. it well, just I know goes it, the it's, whole um, a lot of people get involved, and I know my son has gone with my mom. It's kind of uh -huh. their annual tradition to go, and he likes to get boxes and find the right box, and he has this engineering mind anyway. So That's I think the wonderful. challenge of yes. right, That's finding the right size and shape that'll fit the gift. And that and, is a real talent, because yeah. not everybody can do that. Sure. So, well, the, what the children do is they bring their bucks in, and they're met at the door um, by, well, they have a list. They have a list of about five people that live in their home that they're going to shop for. Okay. And they have to stick to that list, mm -hmm. because if we let them just come in and pick anything, you know. <laughs> They'd be wild. buying for everybody. <laughs> yeah, themselves, especially. Oh, sure. So, they're met at the door uh, by a volunteer, and uh, 
they have their list and so the volunteer helps them pick out a present for each person on that list. Then they go over to the box department and that's when uh, sure. people over there find a box for every present and then they take them over and get them gift wrapped. So they do one-stop shopping, they get a present, they fill their list, they get them wrapped, and they go home with gifts for their uh -huh. family. And we try to have a big bag that they can carry all their gifts home in. Really neat. Now I know too, um, we've talked a lot about this being the month of December, but you work year-round on this project, do you not? Yes, and that part I am keeping. Now I have turned over this year, I turned over the running of the shop to three very able women, mm -hmm. uh, Ty Hill, and Aileen Givens and Jane Rosa oh, wow. and so they each had their little part to do and I took and I said but I want to keep on Still shopping there. you want to keep shopping. yeah I don't because blame you. the yeah. thing is I love to do it I don't like to shop for myself but I like to do this because you can buy things and not have to worry about what you're gonna do with them when you get home mm -hmm. <laughs> I can take them down there and mm -hmm. store them mm -hmm. and um, I can do it on my own time all year sure. it's just that those six days of running that shop, just I just got to the yeah. point where I couldn't do that anymore. Yeah. Well, it's so a this way I can do it on my own time. Large undertaking, and I know you have a lot of people that come and help. And there's uh, about 220 volunteers those six days, the wow. two days of setup and the four days of shopping. Now, how many kids would you say get to go through the about shop? 500? 500 kids. So, I mean, it's that's it was 448 written down, but that didn't count. Uh, some of the kids that are there during the day. Sure. And we usually have um, Girls Inc. and Townsend Center come, but they didn't come this year. It just oh, didn't work out. Okay. So that would have been mm -hmm. a lot more if they had come. And I'm sure you have thousands of stories, but do you have any special <laughs> stories you want to share about the shop or any Well, I give you one that started at the boys, at the old boys club. That's when it was first started. And uh, there was a white shirt that would obviously fit a little boy that was shopping and he had grandmother on his list and he wanted to buy this white shirt for grandma and you know we go through the story mm -hmm. well this is not shopping for yourself it's but well, you know why would he want a white shirt anyway right and he says no this is a present for grandma for me to wear to church when I go with her and I oh. thought what better present for a grandma than to have a child do that. That is wonderful. He, could, he really was thinking of her it, because it she probably present. always said, yeah. I wish you had a white shirt for church. Yeah, yeah, or he noticed that, you know, yeah. it would be nice that he sure. dressed up oh, and he didn't sweet. have it. So that's that really was grandma's neat. gift. That's really neat. And she then probably another, loved it. another <laughs> great grandma gift, and this is um, just recently, uh, a little girl came in and her great grandmother was on her list and she called her grandma great. And she bought her a gift and it was wrapped and she took it home and the family says honey you know great grandma died a couple days ago and she says i know it and they well what did you buy her well i'm not going to tell it's wrapped up so they went to the fu the funeral home and they they said you're going to give her the present yet nope and the present did lay in the casket wrapped up and finally they convinced her that she would have to unwrap it because great grandma sure. couldn't do it uh -huh. And so she unwrapped it, and it was a styrofoam bunny to put on the grave site. So this Aww. styrofoam bunny laid in the casket during the sure. during the funeral service. And this family, I talked to them, and they said the last time they visited the grave, still it was still there. So it's Aww. been two or three years ago. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. That's and she knew Grandma Great would love that. That she would love it. Yeah. So these kids know what they want. And when they... Mm -hmm. The parent or the uh, volunteers take them through and they think, oh, they didn't buy what they thought they should buy. But these kids they buy. They think about it. They think about they it. They do. They really do. They uh -huh. have they have a, a lot of thought behind what they purchase. And, and they've earned it. They've earned That's their right. Santa bucks. Right. So it's not just frivolous. They're probably really thinking about how they want to spend. Carla, as our chamber champion for the Wayne County Area Chamber, I just want to congratulate you again. Oh, thank you. I'm and I want to remind people, um, the Chamber Champion is, it's an award that we give out um, to people who are doing things every day uh, to make our community a better place to live, work, do business, play, what have you. And you've certainly done that. I mean, you know, you work on this project all year round. And a lot of people maybe see, they think, gosh, Carla shops a lot. Well, now <laughs> they know why they see you at the stores and, and what your mission is and what your goals are. And, and I know you've done a lot of other things. Um, you'd shared with me about the etiquette program and, and the dulcimer, um, teaching children to play that. Um, 
you've done so many other things, and then I know there's things that you've done, other projects that you work on outside the Boys and Girls Club as well. Um, a few. Would you care to share? Well, I do uh, Art Is, and that's when the uh, children, kindergarten through third grade, come to the Art Museum and learn about a country through art, and uh, that's neat. neat to watch them do that. Sure. And then, uh, well, the Dulcimers with the children, and uh, church, church, bazaar, yeah. and, sure. and uh, yeah. Bible school. Mm -hmm. Well, and I know you from church, and I've known you for years, but it really has been a pleasure to, to delve into these stories and learn a lot more about um, all the programs and things that you've done and, and how really, um, I, I can't even imagine the hundreds, the thousands of lives of children that you've touched in our community mm -hmm. and how, and, and, and Ohio before, you know, you were able to share some of those stories with me about your preschool and and it's we're just really truly blessed to have you here in our Thank community you. and and for you to share all of what you have um, with all of our children is, well, is it amazing. takes an awful lot of other volunteers to help me though it does <laughs> yeah, it does a lot it of does people but you've certainly involved. led the way and and well, we're it's fun. we're proud that you shared all of that with us and thank you. thank you for joining me again today thank you my next guest is Stephen Price from All Brothers Lawn Squad thanks for coming out to join us today thank you thank you um, tell us a little bit about how All Brothers Lawn Squad came to be. Well, we're a family of four brothers, obviously. All brothers. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. My daughter likes to make the joke, ha, huh, get it? It's all brothers. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but she has a lot of fun with it. Uh, we we kind of sat around and we, we looked at things. We, we enjoy helping others. We enjoy um, uh, working outside. We mm -hmm. enjoy... Um, we, we like to raise the bar, so to speak, especially for other people. So. Uh, we're, we decided that let's get together. We've had a lot of experience growing up on the farm dealing with how to, how to raise a crop, how to control weeds, how to fertilize. That's, what, that's where our specialty was. We said, mm -hmm. well, let's go ahead and attack this and head on and, and help those that have might no need. idea what we're doing. Exactly. Like me. <laughs> exactly. I didn't want to put it quite that that's blunt. That's okay. But, <laughs> well, um, you've got a passion for it. You've absolutely. got experience, so... Absolutely. I, I was, like I said, start. I was born and raised on a farm. I come up from a professional side of um, uh, agriculture, mm -hmm. de dealing with uh, farmers and whatnot with their crops. Mm -hmm. So uh, this this is stuff is no, nothing new. That being said, and obviously I have a lawn that would be a great project for you, <laughs> <laughs> why would I pick All Brothers? Why would I pick you guys? Well, like I said before, we, we, we like to raise the bar. Mm -hmm. we, um, <clears throat> we believe we believe what we're doing is the right thing. The way we do this, do um, the way we do our yards, the products that we use, everything that's that's about it. We we do it because it's the right thing to do, mm -hmm. not because it's some program over here that everybody else is on and it's nice and easy and fast. Mm -hmm. So we we want to do things what's right to make that yard figure out the challenge. Because if if you had that challenging yard, if you had that dead area over here that's not growing, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. We want to figure that out, mm -hmm. not just throw so money. So not at a it. quick fix, not a right. just we'll see you every two weeks, or yeah. you're looking at it, a big picture and how to really solve it. The the, the big long term picture. Mm -hmm. Now you, there's a good chance you might see us every two weeks, depending on what scenario you might or be whatever. having. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, however, we we try to we try to attack the core of the issue. Uh, the products we use is is based for long term, long term use um, uh, benefit to the plant. I, we, we like to focus on the lawn health side of things, not so much in making the lawn green. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Sure. Well, I would imagine yeah. that that's, you know, you could probably one way make my yard look really great for this season, mm -hmm. or how are you going to make it look good for the length of time I live in my home? And, and also build it to where maybe you wouldn't have to see us very often. Right. Which... In turn, yeah. you wouldn't, we wouldn't make as much money. But <laughs> well, but you have happy customers Absolutely. And, that's what and it all referrals comes down to. and yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. So this is a pretty new, you guys are a new company. We are new. We and are new. so what are your plans? Do you have a long-term, what do you see for the future of your all brothers? We would anticipate here in the near future being able to support all four brothers. Mm -hmm. that, that would be our goal. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> At the same time, we don't want to sacrifice our name. We don't want to sacrifice our customers just to get to that point. Sure. We want to um, we we want to be a, a valuable resource to to our clients. How long have you guys been in business? 
We started in February of last year. Okay. So I thought it was recently because recent. you, you're new to the chamber as mm -hmm. well. And so you guys, when did you join? Was it over the summer or late spring, early summer? Give or take a month. You yeah. came and, and found us and we've kind of been working alongside and you've been attending things and networking. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, you're, you're getting out there and getting your name out there and building things. Yeah. And yeah, we, we, we joined the chamber, hoping to network in and mm -hmm. just get to meet more people and sure. introduce ourselves and get our name out there. Right. Well, and at that point, when you, when you get to that self-sustaining point mm -hmm. where it's, it is your full time work for all of you, um, you, you kind of start to grow your roots yourselves in the community Right. Um, and being part of the chamber and hopefully, you know, continue that moving forward and, and giving back to, you know, the places that have gotten you where you are. And that's, that's kind of what a small town's all about. Absolutely. So, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's, that's right. how it works. <laughs> so um, what are some of the challenges that you guys have had this year or that you see? I know you're getting ready to gear up for your busy season. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably one of the biggest challenges are getting our name out there. You look at our name, All Brothers Lawn Squad, you think, oh, they just come and mow our yard. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was that, wrong. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably maybe the, the biggest reason. What, we, we focus strictly on lawn health. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I, I know my brothers, and they are my brothers. You wouldn't want to see them every time I'm in the yard once a week. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. They're great for. brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got a pretty good family. But yeah. they, uh, just focusing stri strictly on lawn health, um, the the point that a lot of folks don't understand um, a lot of times is they like to see this green grass start up right now. Hey, I called you in, fix it. Right. Um, we can fix it. A lot of times um, uh, fixing it may, may be a longer process, mm -hmm. so it may not see immediate results mm -hmm. over the first time. One thing, one thing I always stress for them to understand is it didn't, it didn't happen overnight. This yard didn't come to where it is today overnight, mm -hmm. we can't fix it overnight. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it takes years, sometimes seasons. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, we, we, we can come in there, get it. Get the, some of the challenges, uh, weather always plays a role. Sure. Um, when it's too dry, we, we can't be putting products down because you'll just burn, burn mm -hmm. it up worse. Right. Um, well, patience is a big part of that whole process. Yep. And um, it seems to me that you guys have a pretty good view on uh, what your plan is, and you've put a lot of thought into it, and i a little bit biased, but I think coming to the chamber at the beginning was, was a really good choice and getting your name out there, and I just was curious, how that, how did you decide to do that? How did you come, you know, what was the thought process behind getting involved? Because I think a lot of small businesses don't think of the chamber, and really that's who we can, I mean, we can help that size of a business a lot, so... Me personally, I didn't. I, it didn't even cross my mind. It was, it was my older brother Tim. He he sat back and he actually went out and done it. Bef um, contacted you guys before any of any of the other uh -huh. brothers knew, well, and, and that's okay. Um, but he kind of showed up, and then uh, we started getting these uh, chamber network nights. It's like, hey, what a perfect opportunity to get out, yeah. uh, introduce ourselves, get our name out in front mm -hmm. of some uh, some of the other local sure. business owners. Um, and, and then obviously get our names in the publication mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. help support that as well. So it was kind of a surprise to me when it first happened. Mm -hmm. uh, however, Brother Tim, the older brother, he's a smarter one. Yeah. I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he took care of us there. Yeah. So. Well, I just, I, I kind of, you know, wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you and mm -hmm. to um, hope that that's been beneficial and that you've seen, you've, certainly reaped some rewards or will because you guys have really jumped in there and gotten involved and been at things and that's that's what mm -hmm. it's all about so that's been refreshing to see that excitement and involvement um, early on in a membership a lot of times people will join and then think what's in it for me what's going to happen mm -hmm. but you get out what you put in and, and the chambers like anything else and you guys have been there you've participated and and we appreciate that and hope that we can be partners going forward so sure sure absolutely um, looking forward to it now how does someone um, get a hold of you or find you what are what are some ways to contact you today's technology there's several ways so you can call you can call direct 855 all bros mm -hmm. uh, that's 855-255-2767 uh, best, best way is probably by Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, which would be at Lawn Squad. Okay. Or you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lawn Squad or Google Plus. And if anybody would happen to find us and you're in our marketing area, 
uh, go ahead and shout out to us that you saw us here on Chamber Chat, and uh, I'll send you a free gift. So, very good. And, and that goes, for, yeah, that goes for anybody. Pass good. it, pass the word pass around, the word. and I'll send you a free gift. Okay. Yeah. Well, I sure thank you for being a guest today and sharing sure. your story. And I learned a few new things, and I visited with you several times. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad to get that information out to our viewers and, and again, appreciate your time today. Sure, so thank you. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. My final guest today is Noreen Growth. Noreen comes from the Chamber as well. Thanks for joining me today. It's always a pleasure, Amy. Thank you. We just finished the annual dinner for the year, and that was a big event. Everything went really well. We're very excited. Um, part of our story that night was to unveil our new logo and the Positive Image campaign. Yes. Um, um, I was hoping you'd be able to share a little bit more about that today. Well, it's, uh, image awareness, positive stories, we really want everybody in Wayne County and in other counties and other states to know about all the great things that actually do happen here in Wayne County. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to get those stories out. I don't want to reveal too much because sure. it's going to be an, a year-long right. process, but it's really exciting. So and we have opportunities for other people to become involved um, in the advertising part or also in the storylines. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, give us a call at the Chamber, 962-1511. Well, it's a, it's a whole year long, it like is. you said. And so we're going to kind of take the tortoise approach. Um, yes, yes. But what we need from the community, members, non-members, whoever, mm -hmm. are the stories right. um, that kind of tell, you know, what's going on with our people. Right. Um, student, we've talked a little bit about this. Students, adults, uh, businessmen, right. families, churches, what everybody touches different people in their lives. And They're, so we all know stories. Right. And we don't, somebody at the board meeting, I think, even said, you know, we just are so busy we don't share a lot of the things um, that we should with our friends, family, and neighbors like we used to. Well, I think we're all in our little circles, so mm -hmm. we don't always see outside of those circles. Mm -hmm. And there are so many things that happen that are great that we are not aware of, so we want you to tell us. Right. We want to know about those things. And um, I just want to say about the annual dinner, I want to thank the volunteers because we couldn't do oh, this yeah. without you. I especially want to thank Rod Waltz because what nobody knows what he does unless you're there with us mm -hmm. but the other person I want to thank is you Amy because as a volunteer for 10 years I knew it was <laughs> a lot of work but sitting in the same office with you and listening to what you've done and how many hours you put into it it's phenomenal what you do Aww. and so I want you to know that it's appreciated <laughs> so thank you thank you you just put me on the spot that was a surprise <laughs> but I appreciate it it's it's um it is a lot of fun but it is a lot of work and and you're right, without the volunteers, I mean, we truly have an army of people who we can count on. And kind of everyone has their little job that they do right. now, and Rod especially. Um, I don't know how we would do it without him. He needs an apprentice because if he ever decides oh, to quit, we're in big trouble. We so, are. Well, and the so other that's good. thing, I'm sorry, the Go other ahead. thing I wanted to say was um, Help the Animals did the coat check, and we had donation boxes on the table. But if anybody's interested in helping them, if you'll contact us, we'll give you their wish list because there's a great need there. Yeah. I mean, there's a great need all over, but sure. this one's at the top of my mind because we just mm -hmm. worked with them at the dinner. Yes. And so. they were very helpful and gracious, and um, I think surprised that, they, that we were willing to put them in that position to be helped that much. So they were very appreciative of that. So. But back to the positive image campaign. Yes. Uh, being that it's a year long. Well, it's actually going to be every year. Forever. But, but as right. we're planning 2012, um, if there are any individuals or companies who want to share a story, um, they contact you. Right. Are contact you me. Or if you are a business that wants to be involved in this particular project mm -hmm. or campaign. Um, because it's not just, it's a group of people putting this right. together. Is that right? It's like an alliance. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So there are many partners that we have. And if you would like to be a partner, we still have great opportunities. Mm -hmm. So just contact us at the chamber. And what kinds, of, what kinds of things are would they be looking for? Is it going to be, you know, if, if I'm out there watching right now and I'm thinking, well, gosh, I'd really like to get involved um, in supporting that financially. What do I need to do? Or what am I, you know, what, what would they be expecting? Are there going to be... Um, billboards? Are you going to be on Facebook? What's, yeah. it, what's it going to look like? Well, uh, we have several tiers and 
it will be billboards, radio ads, print ads. There'll be a website. I mean, it, it runs the gamut because mm -hmm. we want to reach everybody and everybody has a different sure. preference. So mm -hmm. we're trying to get all these positive stories out in every possible way that we can. Okay, so it'll all kind of complement each other. Right. And then, because um, I'm asking these questions truly because I've not been in those meetings, I've been planning the dinner. Um, when we get those stories, I know there are going to be broad spectrum mm -hmm. reaches, um, but then if we have the smaller stories, is there going to be like a one general location that people will be directed yep. to, to? To the website. To kind of read the depth and read the history? or Yes. So there'll be a website? Mm -hmm. And that's not quite ready yet. We're but still we'll, working on it. We'll little be getting bit, that out, yes, right? Yes, right, okay. we will. I'm okay. sure that we'll be sending it out to all of our members. And I think. Um, the billboard will be up soon. So mm -hmm. that will also direct you to the mm -hmm. website. It's sort of like a teaser. Sure. So that you, can, you can go to the website and read the full story. Mm -hmm. But we think it's going to be great. We're really excited and about this, it. And just to reiterate for the viewers, yes, this is kind of a community-wide reach. I mean, I know we have um, folks talking from all different... We've got EDC, we've got Chamber, mm -hmm. we've got... Um, businesses from the chamber. Right. We've got schools involved. Um, yes. It's really, it's kind of like, hey, let's all get together and talk about tell the, the good things, the good things, and the yeah. positive stories. That's that's the goal. Right. Okay. Well, it sounds exciting. I'm looking forward to hearing more about it myself and learning more and and sharing with the viewers um, how they can get involved and and even. Involved would be reading the stories and right, learning right. what's going on to hear yes. all the great things. So uh, whatever level you choose to become involved with the positive campaign, um, we encourage you to do that. And if you have questions going forward um, about any of any types of involvement um, that you can join in, just call us um, at the chamber, 962-1511, um, and, and we'll share that with you. Um, and again, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks to all of our volunteers once again for helping with the annual dinner. Congratulations to all the award winners, and we'll hope that you join us again on Chamber Chat.